Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Touche. Wir befinden uns hier immer noch beim Schneider und ähm, ich werde mich jetzt erstmal weiter umschauen. Henri, stop standing around. You're making the place look untidy. Very funny, Master. Can I show you anything in your size, sir? <lacht> Not a very flattering dummy. What do you think, Henri? Am I not a fine figure of a man? Actually, Master, I was just wondering if the mannequin wouldn't make a fine musketeer. It has all the right qualities. <laughs> I wonder what he keeps behind that wooden counter. Can I help you? What have you got back there? Anything special? Nothing that would interest you. Just cloth, pins and shears. Ah, what a lot of cloth! I can see that you are a man of discerning taste, sir. Are you interested in purchasing a new uniform? Mm. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ensign Geoffroy Lebrun of His Majesty's Musketeers. It's a pleasure to meet you. I have kein Geld. Ich kann mir nichts irgendwie kaufen. <laughs> Do all the musketeers come here for their uniforms? But of course, I am the best teller in all France. Mm. Ich finde alles schön, aber ich, oh, ich habe kein Geld. I think that's all the business I wish to do today. Oh well, perhaps some other time. This man owns the shop. He looks prosperous, business must be booming. Let me tell you of all the bargains I can offer. The finest tailoring in all of Rouen, quality service, quality product, uniforms to suit the pocket of every musketeer. Research shows that 90% of women prefer cutter uniforms. If we don't have what you're looking for, please ask. Don't ask for credit, because our refusal often offends. All majors and cards debited here. Mm -hmm. What do we have here? Hats. These hats? Yes? Don't you have anything with more style? More panache? He means a bigger feather. You must make a good living with the prices you charge for those hats. Ah, it's not quite so easy, Henri. Why? What problem can there be in selling hats? Well, you see, Henri, there are the overheads. Can I try a hat on? Of course. Here, there are some behind the screen. <laughs> Schade. What a splendid selection of cloaks. What ludicrously fancy, overpriced, gaudy cloaks. I'm sure my master would love them. Let me out of the cooked. Good grief, these are expensive. Ah, yes, monsieur. But you can't pay too much for quality. I certainly can't. Not on my pay. How can you justify these prices, Monsieur Cutter? The musketeers are stupid enough to pay them. I'm employed <laughs> on that basis. Hey! Boots as well. Monsieur Cutter has just about everything. Ein Schneider, der Schuhe macht? Aber das ist doch ein anderer Beruf, oder nicht? I see you have some boots. Yes, but they are not my speciality. Mm. If you're looking for fine boots, you should visit Amiens. The bootmaker there is the best in all France. What would you say if I told you I wanted a pair of boots? You mean your old pair have worn out? After just 40 years, you should take them back and complain. I wonder where that leads. Locked. Excuse me, monsieur. Those are private rooms. All my stock is on display in here. Surprising in a tailor's. 
They both look sturdy. Well, I don't suppose he'll miss this. I'm glad it's already threaded. Hmm. Okay. Au revoir. <laughs> Oh, do please come again! A few more visits and I'll be able to retire! You can't make a sale every time! <laughs> I don't want people thinking this is a charity shop! Cheek! Riffraff! What a fine establishment! I'm surprised we got out so quickly, Master! Where do those steps lead? Up, Master! Help! Get me down! Ooh. Ooh. I'd better help him before indulging in idle chit chat. Yeah, ich versuch's ja, ich weiß noch nicht wie. It's a gate. It's locked. Eh. Uh. Come on, Henri. <laughs> eh. That won't work. It's locked. Ah, wait a minute, wait a minute. He. It fell out of his pocket. It looks like the key to that gate. I can't reach it. That won't work. That won't work. That won't work. I can't reach it. Come on, Henri. <laughs> Henri, two <too> words. <laughs> eh. Help! Yeah. Somebody get me down! It's too polite, I don't know why. Pastoran. No, I want the man to help. Or do I need an item? Eh. I'd better help him before indulging in idle chit chat. Yeah, oh, oops. It fell out of his pocket. It looks. I can't reach it. That won't work. That won't work. That won't work. Aber warum nicht? Na ja, okay. Tschüss. Just the one way out of here. Rouen. Let's go back to town, Henri. Tschüss, Da Vinci. Ich weiß nicht, wie ich dir helfen soll. It reads early too late. Obviously a typing mistake. Excuse me. Go away. No salesman allowed. If it's not one thing, it's another. Why did Pfizer have to leave me a shop in his will? I was happier when I was teaching music in Paris. Oh la la, buff. We're closed for stock taking. Go away! Hmm. I wonder what the lads are up to today. Muss da den Brief auch noch finden. Hm. Hey, Geoffroy, what brings you here? I need a word with the captain. I hope he'll see me. Who is it? 
It is I, Ensign Geoffroy, Captain. Again? What do you want this time? Oh, you'd better come in, I suppose. <laughs> Ensign Geoffroy reporting for duty, Captain. Yes, yes, we've done all that. What do you want? Have you found your letter yet? Letter? Uh, no, no, I haven't. Ich muss den Brief finden. Have you looked here, Captain? Yes. Uh, uh, no. I think so. Just look for yourself, will you? I wonder how he wrote this mysterious letter. No ink in the inkwell. The pen is dry. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there's anything special about the paper. It appears to be blank. Hello? What's this? Mm, okay. There's blind. some writing on here. It says, My dearest cuddle bear, I... Yes, that's it! You found it! Bring it here! <laughs> Give it here! Mademoiselle Discreet? Thank you, Mademoiselle Discreet. Please take this to my, uh, I mean, your mistress. <laughs> See you later, babe. <laughs> Thank you, Ensign Geoffroy. I'd forgotten that I wrote the letter in lemon juice. Now, is there something I can do for you? Captain. I need to ask you about something. What is it? I still haven't found out anything about the murder. Then talk. Eh, <laughs> okay. Permission to leave, Captain? Yes. Go. Let's go, Henri. I was ready ages ago. Come on, Henri. We're leaving. So long, Geoffroy. Hmm. Ach ja, ich muss ja auch noch mit Juliette irgendwas machen. Kann ich da... Ich muss ja irgendwie auf diesen komischen Torbogen. Kann ich da irgendwie... So, durch oder so? I'd like a decent glass of wine, but in here, I'll have to make do with whatever I can get. Uh-huh. Home sweet home. Can I get through the window? No. Oh. This floor is terribly uneven. That was before, but not now. There's a loose floorboard here. What a clever thing! Sag doch in den Löchern ist wahrscheinlich irgendwas. What have we got in here? A one franc piece, great! Wuhu! Jetzt kann ich mir irgendwas leisten. Come on, Henri. Yes, Master. <lacht> das ist voll gemein. It's a lot quieter in here now the assassins have gone. It's locked. Wrong door, monsieur. Nice place. The service has gone completely downhill. <laughs> okay, ich habe einen Franken. Uh, das beim Schneider ist so it wouldn't do any harm to go to church once in a while. Well, the wine's okay, but I've never really cared for those little biscuits. Yeah. Ah, what a beautiful building! It never... It's but what should yeah, we... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Das haben wir alles schon gehört. Ich glaube... Ich will einen von den. I want to buy one of these models. 
How much for one of these? Just one franc, my lord. I'll take it. I'll take one of these for my sister. No thanks, Henri. I want cash or it's no deal. On second thoughts, you can keep it. It's tasteless, but cheap. Ich hoffe, dass das jetzt nicht falsch war, weil in alten Point and Click Adventures ist es oftmals auch so, dass man Sachen machen kann, die komplett sinnlos sind und dich dann später irgendwie blockieren in der Story. <lacht> ich hoffe, das wird mir nicht das Genick brechen, Spieler. Ist das jetzt offen hier? Kann ich jetzt hier rein? Wow. I wonder if anyone is at home. Yes. <laughs> May I come in, father? I'm afraid not, my son. We are having some renovations done. The cathedral is closed for the next few days. <laughs> What are these renovations you're having done? Ah, it's a closely guarded secret. The Cardinal of Geese himself has ordered them. Mm -hmm. When will you be open normally again? Soon, I hope. We are expecting a visitor. We have had some notices made. Here, take one. Who is this Cardinal of Geese? You are joking, of course. He is a son of one of the most famous families in France. His brother is the Duke of Guise. They are staunch supporters of the Catholic Church and our beloved king. Is the Cardinal coming here to Rouen? Yes. He will attend the dedication ceremony when the renovations are complete. I wish to make my confession, Father. I'm afraid I cannot see you today, my son. Henri, how long has it been since your last confession? Tricky. What year is this? Just as I thought. <laughs> I doubt if I have the time to listen to all of your confession in one sitting. Besides, the cathedral is closed. Father! A man has been killed in the street, outside the tavern. His name is William de Purple, and we have his body here. Ah, please will you take care of the body till our renovations are completed? Thank you for your time, father. You hey. are welcome, my son. Aber... Der gammelt dann in meiner Tasche. <laughs> okay, dann nicht. It's a notice about the cathedral in Rouen. This notice is to inform all worshippers that Rouen Cathedral will be open as normal by December 1st following the recent renovations. Mm -hmm. What a large town Rouen is! Haha! Back at the tavern! To think you thought I needed a guide. Hard to believe I was so foolish, isn't it? <laughs> Cooey! Is anyone home? I don't know how women resist you. Shut up out there! Is that someone calling me? Who lives at this address? My father, sir, Monsieur Renault, and I. What is your name? My name is Juliette. Won't you tell me yours? Sweet lady, I am Ensign Geoffroy of His Majesty's Musketeers. What a fine sounding name. Come down, so that we may speak more freely. Alas, sir, I cannot. My father forbids it. Perhaps you instead could climb up. I must leave. But may I call on you again? If you are brave enough to risk my father's wrath. Juliet, I shall remember your name always. 
And I yours. Whatever you said it was. Adieu. <laughs> mm, okay. I can't get a grip on anything. I um. I wonder what that rope is for. If I could get rid of that sack, perhaps I could use the rope to swing across to Juliet's. Mm -hmm. Keep clear, monsieur. That sack is very heavy. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that rope is for. Okay, das war ein Hinweis. Sehr gut, dann. Here, what do you think you're playing at? Pick up that dagger, will you, Henri? <laughs> oh. Paul Hedge. Hmm, it's quite cozy in here. Don't get too comfortable. Mm. Nice flowers. <laughs> ich guck mich einfach mal um. A card attached. It says, yours passionately, D'Artagnan. Wasn't that sweet of him? You like roses? Sometimes. Rosen sind meine Lieblingsblumen. Die sind so wunderschön. Nice flowers. There aren't that many places to sit down in here. Don't get too comfortable. A fine piece of provincial craftsmanship. What are you doing? You can't stay here. Papa will be furious. <laughs> ich will mich nur so ein bisschen umschauen, Madame. I expect that's where she keeps her clothes. Nice chest. Flatterer. <laughs> okay, das meinte ich eigentlich nicht, aber gut. <laughs> What a narrow window. You have a fine view of the... the... Oh, stables. It must be a wonderful smell. Sight on a warm summer night. This tower is part of the old walls of the city. That's why the windows are so narrow. How interesting. Henri, put that horse back at once. I thought we might need to make a quick getaway, Master. You'll get us arrested. Oh, I'm not the one skulking around in a lady's bedroom, Master. <laughs> yeah, that's simple. These are pretty. <laughs> There's a card attached. It says, yours forever, D'Artagnan. He's such a dear. Because he gives you irises. Well, he could do better. Irises and roses. A looking glass. It's an extremely fine mirror indeed. Thank you. Would you please ignore the furniture and pay attention to me? <laughs> no, warte, warte mal. Ich finde die Sachen so hübsch. Ouch! I'm looking sharp. Yes, you are most handsome and... Don't interrupt, babe. Now, where was I? <laughs> Do you think this uniform looks a little old? I've had it three weeks. What a nerd. <laughs> a fine lace handkerchief. It smells of Juliet's perfume. What are you doing over there, my gallant soldier? <laughs> ich weiß es auch nicht. I will take this as a memento. What are you doing over there, monsieur? Nichts, nichts. Ich klau nur deine Sachen. I trust you have not taken anything which does not belong to you. Uh, who me? I would not dream of it. A scent bottle. Mm. What are you up to over there? I'm just admiring this perfume. I would have thought the cologne was more your style. I trust you have not taken anything which does not belong to you. But, my love, I wanted your smell forever. Maybe the print of my hand on your cheek will do. <laughs> she has some nice furniture about the place. I hope you're not going to go through my drawers. The thought never crossed my mind, fair lady. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That looks very comfortable. What a charming bed. Did you embroider this cover? I hope you aren't getting any ideas. Nein, natürlich nicht. Stairs. They lead down to the ground floor. What are you doing? I just thought I'd see what was down here. Are you crazy? 
is down there. If he hears you. Your father is asleep. Yes, but we must still be quiet, lest he wakes. Wow! What wonderful blue eyes she has. Oh, that's the nein. only way out of here. Nein, 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 nein. Juliet, I must talk to you. I am listening, my brave musketeer. lives here with you? My papa, Monsieur Renault. My sister Nicole had the room upstairs, but she has moved to Paris. Who brought you the flowers? D'Artagnan. He is a soldier in your company. I know that, but how come he's calling on you? You'll have to ask him that. You like flowers? Why yes, orchids are my particular favorite. Do you love D'Artagnan? My father says he is a fine soldier, but I prefer a man who is younger. That's me. Braver. Me again. <laughs> and more stupid. Strike three. I... <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> hmm. Sweet Juliet, I must tell you something. I can hide my feelings no longer. You've been hiding them? How do you feel about me? Sie hat dich gerade zwei Sekunden <laughs> kennengelernt. How do you feel about me? Why well, everyone knows about you, uh, um... Chef Roy! I knew that. Anyway, as soon as you have made more of a name for yourself, I'll be delighted to continue our little chat. Let us talk later. Of course, Chef Roy. How am I going to get down from here? Hey, master, how's it going? That's the only way out of here. Fair Juliet, I must leave you now. At last. I mean, why so soon? <laughs> it would be unseemly if I were to stay too long. Above all else, a gentleman must have class and dignity. Farewell. <laughs> ah! Another gallant soldier has fallen for me. Don't forget me, monsieur. I'll be waiting for you to return. Oh. I think I just <laughs> broke something. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Henri, come here. I want a word with you. What can you tell me about Juliet? Well, she is the mother. Okay, da gab's nichts Neues. Um... Open up that sack, Henri. I want to see what we've got. Is this a dagger? Hmm, okay, also, wenn ich den Dolch jetzt benutzen will, muss ich jetzt immer zu Henri gehen. Okay. This is Juliette's. Ja, das stimmt wohl. The blacksmiths and stables. Good day, monsieur. Are we leaving Rouen, master? Only I haven't packed. We don't own anything to pack, Henri. Tongs. Guess you use them for the fire, right? No. Charles the Smith also does dentistry. Oh. I reckon they'd be useful if you had to handle something hot. Perhaps you could try them on Juliet. That will be two francs. I'm sorry? Two francs. Or did you think you could just take them? Who, me? Of <laughs> course not. The only problem is, I seem to be a bit short of cash. Two francs. Or Manuel will be very angry with you. Yeah. Well, in that case... Henri, give the man two francs. Me? Money? I know you've got at least one gold piece. Give him the money. I'm sure there's something wrong here. <laughs> I'm sure these will come in useful. I'm just not sure when. I guess they're what make the forge work. And I'm what makes the bellows work. 
<laughs> Looks like hard work. Would you like to try? Uh, no thanks. Whew, that forge sure throws out some heat. Ah, charcoal. Yes, monsieur. Sorry? You called me, monsieur. I did. I heard you plainly. But all I said was... His name is Charles Cole, Master. Confusing, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You must get very hot working here. Only in the winter, monsieur. Huh? How come? I goes to me mother's farm for the summer. Of course. Aren't those things supposed to be nailed onto a horse? What's that doing? It's a good luck charm. Wards off evil spirits. Give me a break. Don't mock what you can't understand, Master. Which in your case translates as don't mock. It's a load of old... <laughs> Ooh. Ow! Ah, uh, looks like you could use some good luck. Take it. We'll never get rich at this rate, Charles. It's still got the nails in it. They have some horses in here. You have some excellent horses, Smith. Thank you, Monsieur. Are you looking to buy one? Yeah, was wäre richtig cool, aber ich habe kein Geld. How much are the horses? They start at 500 francs. Well, we definitely want one that starts. If you're interested, just talk to me about it. Hmm. Oh, I bet that's heavy. <laughs> Can you lift it? Me? I don't know. I've never been stupid enough to try. Don't even think of asking me to have a go. It's a bucket full of water. The water is filthy. Monsieur, leave my bucket alone. Do you work here? No, I just work the bellows to keep fit. <laughs> Scrawny looking chap. It's all that exercise. He needs feeding up. I feel quite peckish myself as it happens. Would you like a job as a gentleman's manservant? Hey, that's my job. No thanks. I don't see any future in service industries. Look at the size of that guy! I wouldn't like to meet him up a dark alley. No danger of that. He'd never fit. Excuse me, Smith. Could I have a word? Just a moment, monsieur. Of course, monsieur. What is your name? My name is Charles Cole, monsieur. Have you seen anyone leave town in the park? Just a few of Juliette Renault's boyfriends. Ash Manuel. Well, monsieur, several people rode out recently. I'm looking for a strange man. Try a mirror. Manuel. <laughs> well, monsieur, there was a gentleman in a blue cape who sped off toward the San Quentin. He settled his account with some Spanish silver. How long would it take me to get to St. Quentin? Two days on a good horse. Ten on any horse you could afford. Or take the coach. It gets there in three days. How long would it take me to get to Paris? A couple of days, monsieur. Three by coach. How much are your horses? Well, let me see. 
there's my prize stallion, Thunder. I could let you have him for 500 francs. <laughs> 500 francs for a horse? Horses are scarce, monsieur. <laughs> When's the next coach? They're leaving all the time, sir. Nobody can afford a private horse these days. <laughs> How much is the coach? Two francs, monsieur. Actually, I'm a bit short at the moment. <laughs> you can talk. Yes. But I presume I can charge it to the regiment. All the rest of them do, sir. <laughs> I'd like a coach ticket. Do I have to pay for Henri? You will, eventually. Be quiet, <laughs> Manuel. No, monsieur, he can ride on top. Now you must hurry. The coach is about to leave. Oh, the station is down the road, just outside town. Come on, Henri. Oh, is das hübsch, das Spiel? Oh, man. Wunderschön. I think that's an elder. You tell by the rings, you know. What? You count the rings. That's how you know which tree is the elder. Nobody <laughs> can be that thick. Is that an interesting tree, Master? Will you shut up? I'm looking for somewhere to pay a private call of nature. Would that be a trunk call? <laughs> is that an elm, do you think? Do elms have green leaves? Of course. Could be, then. What are you looking for, Master? Nothing in particular. Well, then I reckon you've found it. <laughs> what kind of a tree is that, Master? It's a plane. I didn't know you had Italian blood, Master. Anyway, it isn't plain to me, so why don't you just tell me? Just what are you hoping to find, Master? You never know what you can find in the country. A rare flower, an exotic fungus... An ambush! An no. am? <laughs> what kind of a bush is an am? Are you sure it isn't a holly or something? <laughs> Raise your hand, soldier! Oh, nice. You idiot, Henri! Why didn't you warn me instead of looking at bushes? I'm such a fool, Master. <laughs> Excuse me, what seems to be the problem? I'm looking for spies and deserters. I'm not ready for our just desserts, Master. Talk to him. I want to see your bus. What is this all about? What are you doing around here, Musketeer? Hey, it's a traveling poet. <laughs> oh, nein, so viele, so viel Humor. Ich weiß nicht, ob ich das gut übersetzen kann, aber ich werde mein Bestes um, geben. I'm on official business. That's what they all say. Can you prove it? Well, no, not exactly. That's what I thought. Now it happens you've caught me in a good mood. He must have just shopped his grandmother. So, I can offer you two choices. You can turn back to Rouen and stay alive, or stay here and die. What will it be? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I'll go back to Rouen. Good choice. And remember, if you must keep wandering around France, get your captain's permission. We'll be watching out for you. Oops. What now, Master? We'll have to do what he says. Come on. We're going back to Rouen. Okay. Home sweet home, eh, Henri? Anywhere would be an improvement after a few days on the road with you, Master. Ich liebe dieses Spiel. Oh! A workman always looks after his tools, Henri. So they tell me, Master. I bet this would be useful. Master, you can't keep picking up things. I bet this would be useful. Master, you c you find in the street. I bet master you ah! want A 
ladder could be useful. And they're so portable too. <laughs> it's a very old ladder. It must be. <laughs> Otherwise, why would they have left it here? <laughs> it's a very old ladder. It must. Okay. You must be joking. Die hätte ich vorhin gebrauchen können. Hm. There's someone at the door! Can't you answer it? I'm trying to murder your father. Typical! Look, go away, will you? There's no one at home! Friendly people. Ah, <laughs> uh, kann ich eigentlich Da Vinci jetzt helfen? Get me down! Ja. Äh, ich versuch's. That's better. Haha. It's a big key. That's done it. Ouch. Ah, uh, thank you, monsieur. Äh. Uh. Hey. It's a gate. Oh, it's the gentleman that helped me down. What can I do for you? Who are you? I'm Michelangelo da Vinci. That name rings a bell. You may have heard of my uncle, Leonardo. So, you're not his son then? No, Uncle Leo just painted women and left it at that. We just want to have a look around. Well, I'm rather busy now, but do come back. If I can be of any assistance. We have to go now. Of course. Oh, it's the gentleman. What? Um. We have to. Of Na gut. Auf Wiedersehen. Let's go back to town, Henri. I wonder what the lads are up to today. Hey. I need a word with the captain. I hope he'll see. Captain, I need to ask you about something. What is it? I have some leads concerning the man who paid for De Purple's murder. Good, good. I need to leave Rouen to pursue them. Fine. Good. Go. Yes, sir. Don't I need a pass or something? Yes, of course. Oh, bah. This pen is dry. Ah, no ink. Wait a minute. Take this. It will keep you out of the hands of the provost while you search for your suspect. But don't take too long. We march against the English in La Havre soon. It's a leave of absence, signed by the captain. Permission to leave, captain? Yes. Go. Don't make me regret writing you that pass. Let's go, Henri. I was ready ages ago. Muss ich jetzt wieder die Kutsche bezahlen? Oh nein. Come on, Henri. We're leaving. Good day, Monsieur. Are we leaving Rouen, Master? Only I haven't packed. We Excuse me, Smith. Could I have a word? Just a moment, Monsieur. Of course, Monsieur. I'd like a coach ticket. Do I have to pay for Henri? You will, eventually. Be quiet, Manuel. No, Monsieur. He can ride on top. Now you must hurry. The coach is about to leave. Oh, the station is down the road, just outside town. So, where are we going, Master? Look here on the map, Henri. We're going to... Hmm... 
die Spur führt ja nach San Quentin, oder? We're going to San Quentin? Yes. It's getting late. We'd better stop soon. And would you believe a jolly eater? Come on, Henri. What kept you? I was just talking to the coachman. When do we eat? But you ate all my food on the coach. I'm sorry, but it's a long journey. And I get so hungry. That you resort to stealing. I know. Master, what if the man in the blue cape is here? I expect he is on the road ahead of us, Henri. But we'll have a look around anyway. A long wait. And then three turn up at once. It points to Paris and Rouen. It says Paris 457 miles, Rouen 348 miles. That far? No wonder I have a pain in my... Henri! <laughs> That's an interesting extension. Ugh. Found the outhouse, have we, Master? <laughs> Look, there's a sign. It says the Coach and Three, formerly known as the Dead Horse, a jolly eater travellers in. I can smell cooking. Great, I'm starving. It doesn't look too busy. It looks like they have plenty of rooms. Wonderful. I bet I'll get to sleep outside his door again. <laughs> Are we going in then? There's a notice on the inside. It says, no bear baiting coaches without an appointment. Children must not enter the bar without adults. No lepers, dogs or other livestock. Guess you'll have to wait outside, Henri. Very trow, Master. <laughs> Hello? Good day, Monsieur. Innkeeper, I need to ask you if you have seen a... Yes, yes, I will answer all your questions. Just step inside. I'll bet it's a trap. Don't be silly, Henri. He sounded very odd to me. Come on, let's go in. Come on, Henri. It's not often you're slow to get to a meal. It's been so long since we last ate, Master, that I have almost forgotten what to do. That's the only exit. What a lot of barrels. What's in them, I wonder? Barrels, amazing. I was just thinking. A novelty which is bound to help in the long run. What if one of these is empty and the guy we are after is hiding inside? Good point, Master. And I have a cunning plan to see if you're right. <laughs> Let's order a drink from each of the barrels. Or perhaps two from each, just to be sure. Good plan, Henri. Better than you know, Master. <laughs> are you thinking of buying a drink, Master? Let's see what they have here. I'll just stand over here, Master. Ready to take any objects you can't carry. Bottles of wine, ale tankards, anything like that. <sighs> I might turn in soon, Henri. As you wish, Master. Those stairs must lead upstairs. Quite brilliant, Master. How do you work these things out? To the guest rooms. Why are you looking outside, Master? I'm just checking the road. Hmm, it's starting to get dark out there. We'll get no further tonight, Henri. We'll stay here and go on tomorrow. This place is pretty busy. Mademoiselle, I am Ensign Geoffroy Lebrun of the Musketeers. As you can see, the inn is crowded. May I join you? 
Good sir, I would ask you to sit down. But as you can see, there are no chairs. Then may I stand you around? What brings a lady of such nobility to this humble, jolly eater traveller's inn? I am travelling in search of a husband. <laughs> Surely a lady as beautiful as you would have no problem finding a husband. One husband, no. But I am looking for my fourth. And me, my second. What happened to the other three? Tragic accidents. Fatal mishaps. You know how it is. Mm. <laughs> what sort of a man are you looking for? A gentleman. That's me. Who is gallant. We fit the bill so far. I'm surprised anything fits you. Brave. Aha. Rich. Aha. And of good reputation. Then let me present myself. I am Geoffroy Lebrun, ensign of His Majesty's Musketeers. Ensign Geoffroy Lebrun? Never heard of you. Go away. Yeah, push off, soldier. <laughs> oh, okay. A man of the cloth. Priests have to travel too, master. Henri, check out that priest, will you? I'll wait here by the bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Morning, Father. Good day. Did you see all the food on his table? I'm glad I didn't have to pay his bill. You seem to be happy avoiding spending money at all. Good day, Father. I am Ensign Geoffroy. What is your name? Father Ave. Pardon me. Father Ave. What are you doing? I don't know. The priest just told me to stand farther away. That cheese that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Excuse me, Father. I'm Ensign Geoffroy. And I am Father of A. Well, you are now. I haven't really got time to talk to you now, as I have to go to Rouen Cathedral soon. Too soon. In fact, I don't want to go at all. I'd rather stay here. I was wondering if you could help me. Perhaps, but not just now. Mm. I am most sorry to trouble you, dear lady. But I need to ask you a few questions. Officially, of course. How could I resist such a request? What can I tell you, my little musketeer? I'm looking for a man. Aren't we all? <laughs> who committed a terrible crime in Rouen. All I know of him is that he wears a blue cloak. Have you seen such a man? A blue cloak? Satin or silk? I don't know. Italian? Spanish? We didn't hear him speak. Not the man, the cloak, silly. I have no idea. I am afraid, monsieur, that I cannot help you. That I cannot help you find your quarry. If you will excuse me, my lady, much though I am enjoying our conversation, I regret I must continue with my quest. Really? How disappointing, I don't think. <laughs> There's only one chair. Ah, a group of earthy locals. They look like they spend a lot of time in here. They must have seen something. I'd steer clear of earthy locals lines if I were you, Master. Farmers, would you say? Shepherds. Crooks the lot of them. Eh? I saw them outside in the porch. The shepherds use them to steer the sheep. I might go and have a word. I've always been good with common people. After all, I keep ornery. <laughs> okay. I was wondering if you could help me. We'd like to help, but we don't talk too well with dry throats. Isn't that right, boys? Oh, aye, that's right. Now, whose round is it? Jacques. Actually, I've had enough for now. Innkeeper, three ales for these fine gentlemen, and I'll have one too. As you. Huh? As... Now, 
now about these questions of mine. Ah, we don't mind talking now. We'd have said something afore. Only we've been here now for six days, waiting for Jacques to buy a round. Oh, aye, that's right enough. He's a bit reluctant to spend his money. Isn't that right, Jacques? No, that's not it. It's just that I'm not thirsty yet. Well, we are. Whose round is it? You want me to buy another round? That's mighty decent of you, sir. Another four ales here, landlord. Hmm. Now, about these questions of mine. No. What was it you wanted to ask us? We're on the trail of a criminal who wears a blue cape. Sheep rustler, is he? Have you seen him? Hard to say. Can't recall. Let's have another drink while we think. I thought we might. Who's round is it? I'll get these. Good man, Gerard. So, have you seen him? No, we haven't seen anyone. Isn't that right, boys? Oh, aye, that's right. But thanks for the drinks. Yes, thanks. Although I wasn't really thirsty. Thanks for your help. No problem. No. Who's round is it? Jacques? But I'm not thirsty. <laughs> the innkeeper. Odd sort of fellow. Funny accent. Probably foreign. Actually, I've always liked foreign food. That's enough hints, Henri. <laughs> innkeeper. I'm looking for a man who may have travelled this way. Many travellers come through here. You'll have to be more specific, Master. He was wearing a blue cape. That should clinch it, Master. I'm sorry, but I don't remember him. And after such a detailed description, too. Of course, there was that one guy who paid me a Spanish silver coin to have his blue cape cleaned. It had a blood stain on it. That's him! Where did he go? I'm sorry, Monsieur, but I can't help you. I did not see him leave. Hmm. Innkeeper, I'm looking for a man who may have tried it. I haven't really got time to talk to you now, as I have to go to Rouen Cathedral soon. Too soon. In fact, I don't want to go at all. I'd rather stay here. I was wondering if you could help me. Perhaps, but not just now. There's only one chair in the whole place, Master. Wow! Look at all the food that priest is eating. It's making me feel quite ill. Father, I think you should look at this. Hmm? What does this say? It's about the cathedral at Rouen. It's closed for renovations, but will be open again soon. I see. Well, in that case, I've no need to hurry there. I can stay and have a little more to eat. Thank you, my son. So, my son, what can I do for you? Enjoying your meal, father? It's possible. It's a pity they skimp on the portions, though. Do you come here often, father? A fine line to use with a priest. I visit this inn regularly, my son. I like to stay for a few days to sample the cuisine. Good. Then perhaps you can help me. I'm looking for a man who may be involved in a murder. My goodness. What did this rogue look like? The man we are looking for wore a blue cape. He was seen leaving Rouen after the murder of a nobleman. And I'm sure that he came this way. Yes, I remember a man dressed like that. A most disagreeable fellow. Is he still here? No, he just had one meal and left, I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the meals here too. What did he have to eat? I'm not sure. They have so little choice here, but I think he had the lamb. Master, do we have to talk about food? I feel quite unwell. That's it. I remember now. Your man was riding east with a message for someone. He had the lamb stew, and it made him sick. I told him to find a doctor, 
or a monastery. I couldn't recommend any near here. They've all run out of good food and wine. So he said he would look in Amiens. Thank you, Father. You've been a great help. Well, I'm ready to go, Henri. But, Master, I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. My stomach is killing me. I'm tired. Enough. We'll stay for tonight, then. If you want a room, it will cost you two francs in advance. Fine. Send my bill to Captain Plainforce in Rouen. You soldiers. Never any money. You're telling me. <laughs> Master, why are we up so early? We have to make an early start, if we're going to catch our man. Now come on! I hate it when he gets all active. <laughs> it makes me feel quite exhausted. Come on, Henri. We have a long ride ahead. How exciting, Master! Come on, Henri. We're leaving. So, where are we going, Master? Look here on the map, Henri. We're going to... We're going to Amiens. Yes, Amiens. Here we are, Henri. Amiens. I'm thrilled, Master. Mmm, he has a fully equipped workbench. You mean he's into a vice, Master? Very droll, Henri. I see you make tools, Monsieur. Yes. Can I sell you anything? I'll think about it. It's one of those good luck charms. I could do with some good luck. I didn't think you believed in such things. He keeps a lot of junk in here. A pot of paint. What's the paint for? Some new scheme thought up by the town council. They want to paint lines along the side of the road. What for? To stop people just parking themselves down and not moving. Ah, how much would it cost to have Henri painted? I resent that. There's all kinds of fascinating stuff in here. You're easily pleased, master. What's in here? Horse liniment. Great for all kinds of ailments and agues. Bends the cold off at night and keeps horse flies away. Want me to make you up a bottle? Yuck! Curiosity killed the cat master. And then buried it in this pot. <laughs> I'd like some of this stuff. You would? We would. But you haven't got a horse. No, but I've got Henri. Well, all right then. He looks as if he needs it. <laughs> Mon dieu, this stuff pongs! It's nice and warm in here. It beats spending all our time wandering around outside. I'd hate to meet him up a dark alley. He'd never fit up an alley. These blacksmiths all look alike to me. I know. It's just like they're all out of the same forge. <laughs> Excuse me, Smith. Could I have a word? Of course, monsieur. Would you tell me your name? My name is Raoul Cole, monsieur. Are you any relation to the blacksmith in Rouen? Why, yes. We're distant cousins. I'm beginning to see a pattern here. <laughs> I'm looking to find out if any strangers have come to town recently. There have been a few. 
Is there one in particular? I'm looking for a man in a blue cape. I'm told he came to Amiens a few days ago. I believe you're right. There was such a man. In fact, his horse is still in my stables. Aha! Hear that, Henri? He's still in Amiens. Where might I find this man? I can't help you there. That will be all. Certainly. It's the way out to the street. Come on, Henri. Let's take a look around. I'm with you, Master. Well, Henri, this is Amiens. I know. I read the sign. <laughs> Can you feel the heat coming out through that door? It would be warmer anywhere but out here in the street. The stables. The stables. I'm ready to go when you are. Raoul Cole. He is always on duty. Neat slogan. Any relation to the Rouen blacksmith, do you suppose? Could be. There's something else written at the bottom of that sign. There's nothing wrong with your eyesight. It says, Vitali Brothers Sign Makers. I hadn't noticed that before. They make quite a few of the signs round here. Really? Taverns, shops, that kind of thing? No, just the stables. They're specialists. You mean all Vitali signs are stables? You're quite proud of that one, aren't you, Master? It's a barrel. They must fascinate you. What was that? Nothing, Master. What a run-down part of town. Reminds me of home. What a terrible area. Urban squalor. The curse of the 16th century. It's a picture of a man making a rude gesture. Of course, it's the insult. <laughs> that sign is quite offensive. I wonder if they have any rooms to rent. I do hope not. These windows are even dirtier than the scalded pigs. I don't expect they can get the staff, Master. Let me just clear off some of this muck. Hmm, still can't see a thing. Henri, clean the window. Eh? Why? I want to look inside. Well, I'll tell you for nothing. In my professional experience, as window cleaner at the Scalded Pig, you'll not get that window any cleaner. It would be easier to see through here if there were no window at all. You see? You don't want me at all. You want a carpenter. I can't hear anything. Are we going in? I never knew anyone knock on a tavern door before I met you. <laughs> they must be closed. What's going on? We're not in England, you know. It's closed. It's another sign. We need all the help we can get. It says this shop is a bootmaker's. Ah, der berühmte Schuhmacher. What have we here? Not another shopping trip. Hey, look, it's a bootmaker. Uh oh, I feel another shopping trip coming on. <laughs> I say in there. Shoes. That's a bad cold you have, monsieur. You need to find the pharmacist. This is a shoe shop. I wonder if they have any boots in here. In a bootmaker's? Well, you never know. You're not a big fan of going shopping, are you? Good morning, monsieur. Can I help you? It's a pile of footwear. It's lots of broken sandals. It's a pile of footwear. 
Could I have some of these? Of course, take them. They are no use to me. Cheap workmanship. I see you have some very smart boots. Just as well, this being a bootmaker's shop. You have some fine boots here. How much are they? Well, the really fashionable boots that all the most stylish gentlemen are wearing start at around 30 francs. What fine goods he sells! Seen the hats, Henri? Marvellous! Very big feathers! <laughs> this man owns the shop. He looks prosperous. Business must be booming. Why are there all these discarded sandals? The monks next door get through them very quickly and leave their old ones here. I keep meaning to fix them, but I never get around to it. Why are there all these discarded sandals? Okay. okay, I think we're done in here. Feel free to wander in and out. It's always nice to receive visitors. Come on, Henri! Nice boy! Shame about his master! <laughs> so, dann werde ich mal gucken, wo ich noch hin kann. Where are you going, master? That building looks just like the kind of place where a wanted felon might hide. In my experience, master, if you wander into that part of town, you'll be hard-pressed to find anyone who isn't a wanted felon. Where are you going, master? That where a In my if you wander into that part of town, you'll be hard-pressed to find anyone who isn't a wanted felon. I wonder who that woman is. Why do you suppose she's walking up and down, outside that broken down inn? Perhaps she's a health and safety inspector. Where are you going? If you'll be hard pressed to find anyone who isn't a wanted felon. Excuse me, mademoiselle. Could I have a word? Sorry, I'm busy. Excuse me, mademoiselle. Could I have a word? Sorry, I'm... Henri, I have a cunning plan to flush out our man. This should be good. Excuse me, are there any murderers in hiding round here? Is there one in particular you're after? I can't believe that didn't work. <laughs> it's a barrel. They must fascinate you. What was that? Nothing, master. The Monastery Gate. Abandon Hope, all ye who enter here. Nice girl, Hope. Hmm, looks like we just walk in. One of the monks. I wonder if he knows anything. He looks in a bad mood. Excuse me. Don't bother me now, I'm busy. You'll have to talk to one of the others. Charming. Pardon me, brother, but perhaps you could help me. If I can, monsieur, of course. I'm looking for a man, a traveller, wearing a blue cloak. We know he came to Amiens. We have many travellers passing this way, and blue cloaks are common. I don't think I can help you. One more thing. The man I seek may have been ill. Ah, then you must speak to Brother Lilove. He looks after the sick. Which one is he? I don't know. We all look alike to me. <laughs> a bar of soap.
It's a bar of soap. This soap might be useful later. You'd better not be thinking what I think you're thinking. Just what Henri needs. <laughs> a watering trough for horses. This looks like where they do the laundry. Monk's habits fresh from the laundry. That reminds me of a joke that I know. Really? Well, just keep it to yourself, Henri. These feel extremely rough. They must be very uncomfortable to wear. Not like all the decent clothes we have, eh, Master? Maybe I need a disguise. What are you doing, Master? I hope he's not getting into any bad habits. Excuse mm -hmm. me, brother. Have you seen... No, Henri, it's me! An amazing disguise, Master. Now what? Hold on to this for me, will you? Yes, Master. Whatever you say, Master. You're mm. filthy. Have you got any fleas? Open up. I want to... This looks like where they do... Hmm. Cheap workmanship. What a magnificent window. Good, is it? You couldn't put a price on such beauty, Henri. Oh, I don't know. A dab of whitewash. And I think I could write whatever you wanted on it. The Chapel Belfry. They must ring a bell to summon the brothers to services. They must use the bell to summon the monks to prayers. Ah, the door to the chapel. I don't think there's anyone in there. Monsieur! Monsieur, really, I hardly think that. Disguising yourself as a monk is behaviour befitting a musketeer. Rats! What gave me away? The beard was a small clue, and you have no cross around your neck. But no monk would wear boots like those. I knew it! They're out of fashion, aren't they? Please, good sir, our services are private. Now go and remove that habit at once. Mm. I don't think that will work. I wish there was a way of telling where our fugitive might be hiding. I wish there was a way of telling where our... The door is closed. I can see nothing inside. Perhaps our man is hiding in there. I thought you'd already checked that cell, Master. I can't tell from here if our man is inside or not. I'll have to go in. I can't tell from here. I'll... Monsieur, please do not disturb that man. The gentleman inside is our guest, and he is ill and needs rest. Food poisoning, is it? Indeed. Hmm. Pardon me. Would you be Brother Lelove? That's right. What do you want? Brother Lelove, I'm looking for a man who may be staying here. He wears a blue cloak. Many of the travellers staying here wear such cloaks. It seems to be the fashion this year. Did anyone arrive recently complaining of food poisoning? If they had food poisoning, they complained of it. That's all our sick guests ever do. Frankly, it gets me down. Now, if you'll excuse me. He wasn't much help. Was he telling the truth? Yes. I believe in brotherly love. It's just a shame he doesn't. Hmm. 
Hm. Aber wie es weitergeht, das seht ihr erst in der nächsten Folge. Ich bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.